Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with another video. That's right. I'm acting like Gene Rayburn. <laughs> I don't know who gets that joke, Gene Rayburn. Hopefully somebody gets it. Do you get it? Well, I hope you do. So, what are we going to look at today? Okay, I was just making sure this thing was on. So, what are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to look at the 10. Yes, you heard me right. The 10 dumbest, weirdest, most BS headline from the website, We Got This Covered. Now, if you don't know what the website we got this covered is, <laughs> they run a bunch of fake news. I mean, they're the doom cock of the websites. What he does on YouTube, him and Mike Zero, you know, the two big phonies on the internet or on YouTube. Well, they do the same thing, but on a website. And every once in a while, somebody on Twitter will hit me up and say, did you hear this? And I was like, do you believe Inquirer Magazine? So, I figured it'd be fun to look at the top 10 work. Are y'all, are we done with this Gene Rayburn joke? Does anybody even know who Gene Rayburn is? I'm just dating myself here. So let's just get to this and quit that joke. Okay, let's look at this one right here. Exclusive. Disney to Disney. Ooh, exclusive. It's an exclusive, so there's only can find this news here. Most of their made up bullshit news is only gonna be found on their website until somebody stupid acts like it's news. Okay, exclusive. The Disney to digitally remove Chewbacca from a rich original trilogy due to new no nudity rule. <laughs> Disney's got a new no nudity rule, and this third Chewbacca's not nude. He's got a bandolier strap, covers up the no nudity regions. What's up with that? But some people fell for it. Here's one I saw a lot of you fall for. You emailed me and said, gentlemen, check out this. Did you hear this? Here we go. Jar Jar Binks to return as new Grand Inquisitor in Obi-Wan Final. Spoiler alert. I should have said that. Oh my God, I didn't say that. I didn't say it. I should have. I should have right there. But if you're watching Obi-Wan, if you're enjoying it like I am, or you're not enjoying it like, I don't know, some people, then that's fine too if you don't enjoy it for a good reason. But Jar Jar's going to be on it as the Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Whew, that's going to be exciting. I don't believe that because it's from We Got This Covered, but I kind of wish that one was true. Maybe it is. Sometimes they do report news. Sometimes, you know, they run with news that somebody else is reporting, but when they have exclusives, that's when you really got to watch out. Like this one right here. Obi-Wan Kenobi star Ewan McGregor says Disney Star Wars is worse than new Star Trek. Now, that's not a blatant lie. I mean, that headline right there, I should tell you, this website is BS. Nobody's going to say new Star Wars is worse than new Star Trek. Huh. New dog shit out in the lawn is better than new Star Trek. Okay, I'd give you Strange New World. That's pretty good so far for what I've seen of it. But when you're talking Picard and Discovery, whoo, that. It's some bad stuff right there. Okay, let's check out this headline here. Another Jar Jar Binks one. They must love Jar Jar Binks over there. Maybe he works as part of the staff. Lucas speaks out. Jar Jar Binks was based on his encounter with Bad Boy. Remember Bad Boy? Yeah, it's kind of people that read Bad Boy, the National Weekly Reader, whatever it's called. That's the kind of people that believe we got this covered. Whew. Check out this one right here. Breaking news. Oh my gosh, breaking news from the Star Wars land. Let's see what it says. Breaking news. Lucas fires Kennedy over Darth Vader recanning. That thing, I feel sorry for that Kathleen Kennedy. She gets fired about every other week. One week, Doomcock's firing her. The next week, Mike Zero's firing her. And now you got We Got Covered firing her also. This lady gets fired and rehired more than anybody I've ever known. And this is coming from a guy that's been fired all the time. So let's check this one. Ooh, another exclusive. Ooh, this is going to be some good one. Exclusive. Yoda, the star in Disney Plus... Different Strokes. They're remaking Different Strokes, and Yoda's going to play the Arnold character. Well, they didn't say he was going to play Arnold, like just a figure because of his size and everything. He could be he could be Willis, but uh, I just can't. You know, Yoda's got to say, what you talking about? Well, I guess Yoda wouldn't say what you're talking about, Willis. He would say, Willis, talk about you what? Whole new catchphrase right there, I guess. Well, let's check this one out here. Lucas reveals X-Wings have the Force. And then they quote Lucas as saying, more midichlorians than Yoda. What? All this. Now you wonder why the X-Wings, some of them didn't blow up and some of them did. Well, you got your answer right there. They have the Minochlorians. That one sounds so stupid, could be true. But you know George Lucas. Sounds like something he would do. Breaking news. Liam Neeson to return as Quagga and Jen's twin brother, Ralph Jen, in new Disney Plus series. Nah. I almost didn't pull this one. But this one sounds like it might be real. And I'm going to be honest with you. I hope it is. I want to see the adventures of... 
Ralph Jin, played by Qua Gai Jin. The twins, so I can understand why he's coming back. Sounds like it's going to be exciting. I cannot wait for that. Here goes another one. I know y'all are big fans of this cartoon series. Everybody tell me, watch the Star Wars cartoons. Watch the Star Wars cartoons. Well, here we go. Reality star Honey Boo Boo is the only person to see all episodes of Star Wars Resistance. <sighs> Honey Boo Boo is the only person to ever see all episodes of Star Wars Resistance. I don't know anyone that's ever seen Star Wars Resistance. I don't hear anybody even talking about it. I hear less people talking about Star Wars Resistance than I hear talking about High Republic. <laughs> High Republic, that looks like some god awful crap right there. <sighs> Okay, okay. Gene Ray. Oh, Gene Raymond's got one more. Let's go. Why did I switch my hand? Why did, oh, I had to get to the mouth. Okay, let's go with one more right here. And I know you're going to like this one, especially if you're a Star Wars sequel fan. And I think there's many of you out there that are. Some of you even say Rise of Skywalker is better than Empire Strikes Back. And if you ever say that around me, I'm going to Gene Ray you upside your head. Okay, let's go right here with this last breaking news right here. Kennedy shocked Star Wars fans. Oh my God, what did Kennedy do? She shocked Star Wars fans. Did she hire Gene Rayburn to play the new Luke Skywalker? No, I don't think that's it. Kennedy shocked Star Wars fans. Laura Dern. Laura Dern's Haldo was Walrus Man. I didn't know that. All this time, I wondered what happened to Walrus Man. Well, he got a sex change, dyed his hair purple, and became a resistance fighter named Haldo. Whoa, that explains the Hondo Renew. That explains the Hondo. That explains the Hondo Remover very much better. Very much better. Well, that's ten of the dumbest, stupidest headlines when we got this covered. Now let me know in the comments. Did you believe any of these? Or are you like, I hope these are true? And do you do you really do you know someone that falls for this website? Do you know someone that tells you Doomcock has inside sources? Or do you know someone that tells you Mike Zero and he really knows his news? Anyway, this is Gene Rayburn saying good night. Hey, jump man <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.